What is going on folks? Welcome back to a brand new video on the electric dirt bike. We are out here in the San Fernando Valley. Not San Gabriel. I will not mess that one up again, I promise. Real quick, I gotta mention I am active for real on my second channel. I posted a new video there, so if you want to see my beautiful face and some brand new videos, I'm gonna be posting there every single day. That channel is gonna be easy to post to every day because it's all, you know, just me sitting and chatting. Mostly what I do on this channel already. I just do a lot of talking and uh, riding around. But uh, there, it's a whole different set of new topics. So if you're interested, first link in the description links you to the new video. I'm asking you a favor, please go watch it so I can get the watch time up on that channel. Uh, I need to hit like 2,000 hours or something of watch time before I can uh, monetize it. So if you want to just go ahead and watch that video, I don't know, just put it on autoplay while you're doing something else. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Anyway, check out this clip. I came outside of my house earlier today and I had a whole bunch of brand new electric bikes in boxes sitting outside waiting for me. I come out to the backyard getting all ready to ride and look what we got. Bam, a bunch of bikes. Uh, I guess the FedEx came and dropped these off in silence. I didn't even hear them. And I come out to ride and bam, we got a bunch of bikes. So all these are brand deals that I got going on. Uh, there's two fat bikes. I, I'll probably unbox them tomorrow and put it in at the end of this video or if not, another video. Uh, so I got two fat bikes. That is, I don't know what that is. That's something. That's like a commuter bike. So that's, uh, I don't know. We'll see all of them when we un uh, unbox them. These two I'm actually excited about. The Magicycle ones, they're like uh, fat bikes. They don't have suspension, but they have like really big tires and they're, uh, you know, those should be cool. I'm uh, probably going to give one of those to my dad. Might give one of these away on the channel. Not sure yet. No promises. No, you know, don't take my word on that. Just saying. Uh, and then we got two electric scooters. Now these scooters are not like birds and <laughs> they're not like uber scooters they're like uh, extremely high powered one of these goes 40 miles an hour uh i don't yeah so there's that and then there's this one which has like i guess like an 80 mile range or something cool stuff all together this is about eight thousand dollars in electric bikes and stuff just sitting here so uh i'm gonna have to put that away uh but yeah thought that was cool i just came out to do my regular Suron ride so we got a varla eagle one a Varla Pegasus, I don't, you know, yeah. So they're gonna be supporting the channel massively in the next couple of months. Magicycle, this company really hooked it up, so shout out to them. Uh, they gave me two of these and a, a, like a bunch of stuff. And uh, obviously I'm paid for these, so yeah. Uh, hashtag ad and uh, KBO Breeze. I'm not really too sure about what that is going to be like when I unbox it, but uh, that's another hashtag ad. So yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on here. I'm just gonna show you guys what that they look like on the outside of the bike. I'm actually pretty excited to check these ones out, the Magicycle and the KBO Breeze. That one's gonna be really cool too. The scooters, I'm not totally, I don't really know if I wanna ride a 40 mile per hour scooter, but we're gonna check that out. I might have a bingo or something come mess with it or someone who is willing to go top speed on a scooter. I don't know. I might do it just for the video, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. And then we got my beautiful Suron which we are gonna go take for a spin right now. All right, we've got another beautiful afternoon in the San Fernando Valley. My bad for saying San Gabriel Valley on the last video. A lot of people corrected me on that. And you know what, I stand corrected. It is the San Fernando Valley, not the San Gabriel Valley. I get them mixed up all the time because I've never lived in either, never lived in any valley. Uh, the more I come to North Hollywood though, the more I'm starting to really get into it. I can see myself living here at some point in the future. You know, I don't know about soon, but uh, I come here so often to ride that it's starting to seem appealing. It's kind of like a nice halfway point, but I'm just really happy being away from the city right now. Like it's so nice being up in the high desert and not having to worry about anything like ever. I wonder if I could ride this. The dog park looks totally full. Definitely not. We'll at least hit it up real quick. Uh, today we might find a willy spot, somewhere to practice willies, uh, but I don't know. I kind of just ended up here because uh, I realized it was already too late. The funny part is, even though like I, um, you know, I've been getting out at the same time as I usually do. The sunset is now like much later. It's at like 7.30 now. And I still managed to get out like an hour before. I'm gonna wait for this dude, I think he's gonna turn. Yep. I don't know what is everyone's malfunction here. 
this figured out. Yeah, um, I still get out right before the sun sets, which is like, I don't know how I'm so bad at calculating the time. Like I, you know, I gotta figure that part out. I don't like riding at night. So that's why you never really see me riding past dark. And I'm always trying to ride before the sun sets, specifically around this time. That's what the deal is with that. Anywho. Whoa, that scared me, bro. That was a freaking, that was a crosswalk. Uh, yeah. We're in a similar part of North Hollywood that we were in last time we came out here. Where's that little pocket that I got in through? I think they sealed it up. Was this it? I think this is it. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Uh, uh, uh. The more that I've been riding this thing, it's really starting to feel more like a bike. Like a bicycle as it compared to a dirt bike, which is great. You know, it's definitely still, I say more of a motorized dirt bike. I mean, obviously it's a motorbike. It's a bike with a motor. But um, now that I'm getting used to it, it really has like bicycle traits, like more than I thought it did at first. That was a full-on tent. We're gonna flip it around. That was not like that last time I came here. It was not quite as occupied. We're gonna let them mind their business. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. There's a lot of places you can't ride in the city because, you know, they're kind of owned by homeless folks. And it's kind of like you're going on their property and it's a real touchy subject because you know, who who am I or who is anybody to down, to you know say that I you know I, that I should feel like no one's privileged to any space, right? At the same time, it's kind of like uh, you really can't pass through their their little zone. Otherwise, you don't you never know what might happen. You could get robbed easily, uh, or just get any type of static. And I don't know who wants that. I sure don't want that. I don't want any problems with anybody. I just want to ride my bike in peace pretty much all I'm looking for out of life. Oh. oh, I just want to rip. You know, just want to go fast like Ricky Bobby. Oh, is that a lady on that wheelchair? Excuse me. nice got a little shredded in right there that was fun um yeah so as i was saying that like there's a lot of places there's more places that you cannot go than places you can go that is for sure you know a lot of a lot of la as far as if you want to try and get like off roady is super off limits because you know there's just way more space that you know i feel like i'm just repeating myself over and over so you kind of get what i'm saying right if you need further elaboration, I'll talk about it in a future video, but I think uh, I think most of you guys get my point. There's very little off-roading you can do in LA as it stands. And the few that is currently, like, that exists is pretty much sanctioned off by, you know, homeless people. And you know what else is crazy to me? Saying the word homeless is starting to become offensive. You know, I don't I don't know if that one's catching on nationwide yet but at least in la like referring to like you know homeless people as homeless is is not cool anymore apparently you're supposed to say they're unhoused you know which is also true they are unhoused so you know i don't know it's just a weird topic all over man especially living in la it's just it's 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 such a sensitive and touchy subject and there's no there's no real like appropriate way to to approach it like, uh, it's just so multifaceted and complex. Like, it's something that I, I don't know. It, I feel weird even talking about it. But the other, but it's like one of those things that like, I don't want to talk about it, but it's so prevalent. Like it's freaking everywhere. It is literally everywhere out here. I mean, when I lived, <laughs> I was kind of sick. When I lived in downtown, oh, almost slid out. When I lived in downtown, dude, it was, it was nuts. It was freaking nuts how insane the homeless problem was. And I don't know if it got any better or if it's gotten worse. Honestly, I don't know. 
walking across here. Just gonna go. Um, I, I really don't know if it's getting better or worse out there, but from what I remember, it was it was crazy. And it wasn't like I had so many aggressive encounters when I lived there, dude. It was like it was nuts. And I never put them on video really because I just felt weird about that. Like most of the people obviously mentally unstable or whatever. And then you have another facet of them that just like really want to do drugs every single day. Like that is their main priority in life. And that's in fact what brought them to Skid Row in the first place. And so they can just do drugs all the time. And it's like, do you, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to get political or nothing. I just, this whole rant is because I wanted to rip down that trail that I, you know, hit last time. And now there's a full on camp and there's hella, you know, folks just chilling right there. And I know if I went through there, I would have had a problem. I just know it. I know it for a fact. There's no, there's no doubt about it. Something would have happened. Someone would have said something. Who knows what? There's so many crazy stories now of people like just getting straight up attacked by people and I don't know. LA is, is down bad, bro. It's, it's super down bad. Like, even my, my older buddies the other day were talking about how crazy it is, you know, how people, how many people are getting followed home and robbed and whatnot. Like, that's, that's a new phenomenon. You know, I've lived in LA my entire life and that, I mean, that's always been a thing, but now it's like a trend. You know, it's like a full on trend. Like it's, it's happening on the regular. I feel like every single day I, ch I, ch I check into the news, there's another story about someone getting followed home in Beverly Hills or Melrose or something and getting robbed. Like what, what is up with that, bro? That's crazy. In some of the most high cost of living places in the entire country. <laughs> straight up in the entire country most expensive places you could get follow home and robbed i think there was one just the other day where they like there were some tourists and they were out flash being flashy and whatnot you know balling out of control and they got robbed for like eighty thousand dollars worth of stuff like jewelry i think they took their car um you know and they just got fleeced like straight up fleeced which is just outrageous to me dude I, I i don't know i i man i don't know I'm trying to get my wheelies down you know what i think about where i messed up the other day practicing my wheelies was i was on way too uh inconsistent of a of a turf like i was on some soft grass but it was like super bumpy and like all over the place like that so i wasn't able to like really lock in my positioning because when i mess around and try them on like flat ground like this it feels a lot like like more doable if that makes any sense you know like i can i can actually pop one up if i wanted to this is right now i'm still not confident enough to just you know whoop, send one like that but i do hope to get there really soon look at that subaru that thing is beautiful i don't know if you guys saw the new subaru that just came out with that thing i am not a fan of it at all it looks bizarre dude it looks so weird <laughs> it is so weird looking it looks like I don't know, like I, the, like the big old bumpers it has on it. I don't know. I'm not a fan. Anywho, enough ranting and raging about nothing. We're going to go to this little spot right here. Make sure there's no car coming up. Yep. Um, I'm just going to go up to this parking garage and, and chill. I might, I might try Willie's on an uphill slant for a second, but really got no plans. Ooh, this, is, this would be way too steep to try really up. That's kind of gnarly. Damn, this place is packed now. This is probably the most cars I've ever seen coming in here. Last time I was up here, I was on, uh, they were having like a little car show. There's always like little random car meets back here. It's pretty cool. soak in the view real quick if we can oh not bad san fernando valley wonder if there's some trails in those mountain ranges we can go explore one day that might be fun we go check that out yep nice views in the desert way over there past those mountains is where i live that's how far away i live from the city <laughs> oh look we got some race car drivers we're gonna stroll on out of here. This is like a teenager kicking spot now. I had no idea. 
There's so many like groups of kids in there just chilling. I really gotta do something about my rear brake. I think I'm just gonna straight up swap it out. Because even though it's working like especially worse than it used to be, it like, uh, it's not, it's just, I don't have confidence in it anymore. And that's also gonna be troublesome if I really start wheeling, so it's gonna have to go. All right, where to next? That was a fun little shred. There's actually one route out here that I've been meaning to check out. Every time I hop off the freeway over here, I see this little narrow pathway and I don't know where it leads, if it's somewhere I can explore. Why don't we find out real quick? Just gonna go up here. And we're gonna get on the freeway real quick. A 170 South, psych. I'll never see me on the freeway on this thing. It is this little path right here. Ah, it looks like it goes absolutely nowhere. Yeah, that's not actually a path. Okay, well, now we know. Okay, from here, we've got some options. You can see what is right here. I think there's like a dirt bank or something we might be able to smash on. There's a worker. There's a camp right here. I think we can whip around here. This is the side of the freeway. <laughs> this is where you go oh, to get on the freeway. Oh, we're just shredding it. So that's cool. Adventure time. All right, well, I guess I'm going to wrap up today's quick video uh, out here in this random neighborhood in North Hollywood. I don't really even know where I'm at, but I got GPS on my phone, so I'll be fine. Once again, check out my second channel. If you haven't, I'm really going to try and start growing that channel hard. So uh, it would really mean a lot if you just click the first link in the description and watch the video, you know, and subscribe to that channel if you have not already. Uh, I'm going to be posting there and here. I'm going to try and post here as much as I post there. So uh, stay tuned for both. I got more content coming with the electric dirt bike coming very soon. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like the video if you have not already. And I will see you in my next upload very soon. Peace out.